All right, so now let's set up such that we can run our start our server from the package.json. So I'm going to come to my package.json and I'm going to add a script. So just like we did before, I'll first add a start script. And this start script is just going to, is going to be what we use on our server, Heroku server. So you're just going to say node and it's first going to go into the back end folder. Then it's now going to look for the server.js. All right. But also remember that this our main here, which specifies our main entry point, our main file to open up our server, it needs to be server.js. So server.js. Great. Now the next command I'm going to run is going to be for the back end. So here I'll just delete this start and say back end. Then instead of saying node, I'm going to say node mon. Remember we we um install the package called nodemon that enables us to continuously monitor our server when we make changes to it node doesn't have that capacity so that's why we installed nodemon and we installed nodemon um globally so if you didn't install nodemon globally let me just show you so npm install nodemon and to make it global you have to say dash g and hit enter now, if you didn't install Nodemon globally, then you just have to install Nodemon and then say dash D to make it a dependency uh, package. All right. So just go ahead and do that. But personally, I installed Nodemon globally. So that means I don't need to install it on every project. All right. So let me save this guy and let's try and run our server one more time just to make sure that everything works perfect. I'll come here and I'll say first run node. Sorry. Sorry. NPM start. I'll hit enter. Let's see if it starts our server. Okay, so you see here we have server, uh, server running on port 5000. Then let me control C to close this guy up. Then let me clear. Sorry, that should be clear. So clear. All right, great. Now I'm going to say npm run back end hit enter so i just want to test these two scripts that i've created okay so nodemon starting voila so you see server running on port 5000 so we've successfully been able to write scripts to run our back end of our application all right see you in the next one all right welcome back guys now i want us to um see how we can use some api testing tools to make our work a little bit faster although we've seen in the previous video that we can you know test our api on the browser but that's not actually efficient for so many processes so before we actually download those tools we actually need to have at least a single route in our application remember we have our server running on port 5000 so i'm going to come down here and create a route so let me just add a comment here and say routes like so and then I'll just create a app dot get route and that route is going to point to just the home page so forward slash and remember it's supposed to take a callback function so let me open that up with an arrow function and here I'll slot in my request and response which we've seen in the previous um, section and what do I want to do here well what response do I want to send to the browser well I'll say response dot send and then I'm just going to say home page. So very simple uh, process here. Now this is the home page route. I'll go ahead and save that. We created this route because you need at least a single route to be able to test. Now come over to your browser and just search for download Postman. If you click on the first result, it should bring you to this page where you can download Postman for your operating system. In my case, I'm using Windows. Then search for Insomnia. Click on the first result. It will bring you to this page where you can download insomnia so these are the two api testing softwares that we are going to have a look at so for me i'll just close all of these guys that i'm not using and then i'll just minimize this now what i want you to do is first off i'll show you postman how to use postman the reason why i'm showing you postman and insomnia is because postman is so popular right i just want to make you have a feel of it but for me i, I believe insomnia is a little bit more user friendly you know to use so let's start with postman remember if you just come here and you type localhost 
port 5000 5000 and you hit enter it will bring you to this route so you see here we just have home page great so now let's start with um postman which i said is very popular yeah so i'll open postman if you're opening postman for the first time maybe yours will be in light mode but i think i've done some settings so i put it in dark mode you know it's better for me my eyes now for you to create a request because it's a http request for you to create a request all you need to do first is to click on this plus icon if you click on the plus icon by the way i think you need to sign into postman so see this i this guy here this icon here that says manage accounts if you click on that you'll be required to maybe sign in all right so just quickly create an account if you want to use postman so but if you click on this plus icon it will give you the option to add your url so in my case my url is localhost port 5000 you can leave the forward slash you can remove it it doesn't change anything and then you need to specify the kind of request you want to make so in my case it's a get request so if you click on this option here you will see all the various kinds of requests but let's just leave it as get because that's a request we want to get something now let's click on send send voila so you see here we have the home page right which is exactly what we had in the browser so we've been able to test this you know um api endpoints which is the home route local was 5000 let me show you something else though because in an application you build you're going to have several api endpoints several url that you want to test it's good to put all of them in like a folder in like a collection so that you know they are not scattered all over the place so you see this panel here on the left if you click on create connection create collection you have the option to create like a collection of urls that you want to test so now I'll, I'll give this collection a name in my case i'll just call it task task manager because that's what the project i want to create and hit enter so now we now have this task manager here um so i'll just close that because it's right here task manager now you see this first url we created let's save it inside of this task manager so i'll just come here and then i'll click Control save Control s it will ask me for the name of this request so i'll just call it home page so home page and then i would select which folder i want to save it or which collection i want to save it i want to save it inside task manager so select task manager and then click on save voila so you see inside of this task manager now we now have this home page so like if you had maybe multiple routes you had another route let's just create another route very quickly so i'll make this one a post request even though i've not created any post request and i'll just see forward slash tasks plural so task like that and then i'll save it so if you try to save it let's just say we want to get uh sorry we want to create a task create a task so now if you want to save it you see we have the option to save it inside of this workspace here right so i'll just click on save and as you can see we now have the home page um, request and the create a task request that's essentially how postman works so if you feel like you like the way postman is set up for me i think it's you know the user experience is not as fantastic as insomnia which is what i prefer so if you want to use that you can just continue with this and every time we test you can use postman i'm doing this because postman is very popular so i'll bring this down and then we're going to do the same thing in insomnia and moving on we're going to continue using insomnia if you've downloaded insomnia you open it you should see something like this now mine i already have like a folder i've created here that contains some routes but let me show you so right here you can create a, a new request so if you click on this new document right you will see uh okay that's not what i actually want to click on there's a shortcut though so if you click on Control n i think it will just create a new document so now when you've created a new document here like that you can then specify the url you want to test in our case it's localhost port 5000 now i'm just going to test it right away so i'll click on send and you see it's loading okay so you see here we now have this home page here so just look at the layout of insomnia it's kind of cleaner and easier to use so 
moving on i'm going to be using insomnia to test my application all right and to do every kind of you know testing we want to do throughout this project but if you prefer postman by all means go ahead and use postman all right so that's about it for this one uh thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one all right my friends so i just want you to know that you have access to the playlist for the main stack tutorial for beginners right here on youtube so if you want to watch everything on youtube there's a playlist here on youtube that's going to give you access to them but i also want you to know that i'm going to be uploading the beginners tutorial one per day so but if you don't want to wait for me to finish uploading everything then you can just click on this main free course and then it's just bring you to this page where you can register for the main tutorials for beginners absolutely free so you're not paying anything it will give you access to this comprehensive course dashboard where you're going to just learn everything you need to know about the beginning uh, part of MERN. all right then also i'm going to be publishing a next js course also for free and you are going to get access to that if you are on the dashboard if you're on this platform also if you like to get access to the 26 plus hours full stack main course then i'll leave a discount link in the description of every of the main video and you can get access to that for just this tiny discount all right thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video